This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The community is coming together for a woman who has helped so many over the years. We'll tell you about a special benefit for Cynthia Donlin next. Good evening and thank you for joining us at SSP TV News. I'm Ken Cara. You can watch this newscast and all of SSP TV shows in HD on Service Electric Cablevision Channel 513. Now to our headlines from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. A half-size replica of the Vietnam Veterans War Memorial in Washington, D.C. will be on display in our area for the next few days. Known as the Wall That Heals, the replica will be at the Sawyersville American Legion today through Sunday. The wall can contains the names of more than 58,000 veterans who were killed or unaccounted for during the Vietnam War. 68 of those listed on the wall are from Luzerne County. The wall arrived in the area yesterday. It was escorted from the parking lot of Mohingan Sun Arena in Wilkes-Barre Township by hundreds of motorcyclists, police and military vehicles to the American Legion post in Sawyersville. People also lined the streets of Sawyersville waving American flags to welcome the wall. You can visit the wall free of charge until Sunday. It will be guarded round the clock with taps played each evening at 7.30 p.m. This Saturday is National Trails Day. In celebration of the occasion, the Greater Hazelton Area Civic Partnership will host its 14th annual hike and bike event. Well, this is our 14th annual hike and bike. We started, I think, in 2003. We hadn't developed a trail, so we had it at the Tannery Bridge near Whitehaven for two years. And then once our trail was developed, the first four miles in 2005, we opened it up and we've had it at the parking lot ever since. And that's a great place to have it because we have exhibits there. Uh, we're having live animals. Uh, we have um, things for kids. We have an imagination playground uh, that's uh, brought in by the Y uh, where they can build things. Uh, it's uh, just a fun thing to do. And then we have uh, games for the kids, uh, healthy games. Uh, and we also have uh, coloring, coloring of uh, animals and things like that. The hike and bike event is this Saturday from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Rails to Trails on Route 93 in Hazleton. Enjoy a free picnic lunch, free bike helmets for the kids while supplies last. Health screenings, tricky trays, local nonprofits will also have displays, DJ Tony Pacelli, and much more. Again, this Saturday from 11 till 2 at the Greater Hazleton Rails to Trails. Well, there ain't no party like a star party because many people believe the universe don't end. This Saturday, the Greater Hazelton Astronomical Society is hosting a star party and you're invited. It's this Saturday at 8 p.m. at Locust Lake State Parks Amphitheater. And again, it is free to attend. Here's the president of the society telling us what happens at a star party. Basically, I do a little program explaining about the society. I explain about how light pollution is and how they can abate it. Okay. Uh, we talk also a little bit about what you're going to find in the night sky. We'll show you star charts and we'll show you around and how you can find through the stars. And then following that, if the skies are clear, we have our scope set up and we look at the things that I talked about. Scott McAndrews will be joining us for some astronomy segments coming up on SSP TV News. We talk about his background a little bit, the Greater Hazelton Area Astronomical Society, this summer's solar eclipse, and so much more, so stay tuned. Well, this weekend is race weekend at Pocono Raceway, and if you're planning to purchase tickets to this Sunday's Pocono 400 race, there is a special promo code that will benefit the American Red Cross. Go to PoconoRaceway.com and use the promo code Red Cross. The track will then donate 15% of the cost to the American Red Cross. The promo code is good for all three races this season at the Tricky Triangle, and I will be at the Pocono Raceway tomorrow for a preview of this Sunday's big race. Friends of a Hazelton woman are rallying together to host a major fundraiser for her this weekend. Lisa Sugart has more details. Today I'm very pleased to be joined by two lovely ladies. Uh, one, our very longtime good friend, Cindy Donlin, who has been here many times before talking about the Lupus Foundation. Today she's here for another reason, and she brought with, us today, what, with her today her best friend, who is Susan Camille Correa. And Susan, you are organizing a benefit for Cindy 
I guess, let's start with uh, why you wanted to do this. Well, Cynthia has done a lot for the community through the Lupus Foundation. She's volunteered for our church, our parish church. Uh, even while she was ill, she's always, uh, you know, given to the community. And I really uh, admire that. And she helped me personally uh, with lupus. I was diagnosed and treated properly because Cynthia brought it to the attention of not only the doctors, but she had me at a medical conference for lupus. Uh, and it, it was then that we found that uh, I have lupus and uh, now I'm able to lead a quality life uh, because mainly in part because of Cynthia. So now you wanted to help her because she's gone through a really yes. difficult time. I guess, Cindy, we're gonna tell everybody, um, you came here today and you're in a wheelchair. This is the first time we've seen you like this because you've recently had your foot amputated. Yes, but I didn't lose my mind. I only lost my legs. So I'm very much with you guys. And I'll be doing stuff with lupus this summer and July. So keep that in mind. There's going to be a fundraiser coming up. But when I found this out, I thought, she nuts? I mean, I, I can't believe that anybody would go out of the way for me like this. It just it touches me. And when I heard how many people in the community are helping, I am so in shock. Because I know there's good people out there. But let me tell you something. They say a lot about Hazleton being a rousy place to live. No, honey. We've got heart down here. And I've sounded out this last couple of weeks for the amount of people that are donating to this event. I mean, I am in shock what this woman has done for me and other people. And I'm just grateful to the God up above because I made it through a lot and I did surgery was a success. I am going to get a prosthetic leg and honeys, I'm going to be a doctor. Okay. It's going to happen. I'm just going to be limping around on one leg. And if I don't make it in a medical profession, I always become a flamingo on somebody's lawn. I have one leg up in the air and spray paint me pink. But I'm managing to do fine, honey. They can't shake me down. I'm like a roach. I come back up again. You can't kill me. I'm hard to kill. So here I am. <laughs> she is one tough cookie, always with a smile on her face and always talking positive. She's gone through some really difficult times recently with all of this. There are medical expenses. Susan, you stepped up. You said, Cindy has helped the community and she's done fundraising here. You know, come in with us to talk about it for doing things for the Lupus Foundation. So you're holding a benefit. And she told me to call it this name. So I'm not just saying that. I don't want to be rude. But the name of the benefit is the Musical Buffet help the amputee get back up on her feet. Now that's Cindy's choice for that name. So I'm only repeating what she told me to do. So Susan, tell us about this benefit. It's going to be taking place on uh, Sunday, June 11th at the Butler Valley Fire and Rescue in Drums. Yes, we are going to have a full buffet, entertainment. Um, shall I say who's, sure. who the entertainers are? Sure. Tony Angelo with uh, Bobby Seaman. They're going to be doing comedy skits and uh, uh, some classical, modern, popular music. Uh, we're going to have Noreen Gregory, and we're going to have um, Harry C., DJ Harry C., and Christopher Pavlik doing Frank Sinatra songs. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a great day. It's a full day event, and it's, it's going to be fantastic. And part of the money also is going to go to pay for my aunt's nursing home. Uh, they're, they're charging her $10,000. We have to get some money for her, too, to get her. But I promise you, it's only temporary because we're going to be coming home, and I'm going to need money for helping to get us nursing services for her so I could take her home with me, and also for me to go to medical school, and also for me to pay my bills. But I know I owe a lot of people a lot of things in this area, and believe me, I thank you all. You have no idea how much this means to me, and I will pray for each and every one of you. And believe me, I owe you guys big time. And we wish you guys a really successful event. And Cindy, God bless you. We hope that everything goes well for you. Cindy is the best. Please come out and help out. Well, happiness is free pizza, and each Thursday you have a chance to win a box of 12 slices of Frankie's Cold Pizza with their signature sauce and cheese blend baked fresh with no preservatives. Call 570-459-9813, extension 104. Leave your name and number. Guess what? We'll pick a winner at random. Frankie's Express will soon be resuming their cold pizza door-to-door -door service, so check out their Facebook site for more information. SSP TV and the Scranton and Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders are teaming up to take you out to the ball game. We will be giving away a pair of vouchers each week. The vouchers are good for one 2017 regular season home game. We will have our first giveaway tomorrow night here on SSP TV News, so be sure to watch for your chance to win. Have you downloaded the Samsung Productions app? I'm going to keep asking until you do. It allows you to take us anywhere and watch all of your favorite SSP TV programs on any device, like It's Your Health and the Sam LaSan Show. Use our app for special deals on golf packages as well, so download it today. 
Coming up, our local history segment remembers the life and legacy of President John F. Kennedy. And in sports, we stop by Marion Catholic baseball practice to see what's fueling the Colts' success. This is SSP TV News, your place for 24 hours of your hometown news and information. This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Well, pleased to welcome back Charles McElwee, a member of the Board of Directors for the Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum. Again, talking about more of the Hazelton area's history, this time focusing on John F. Kennedy. He would have been 100 years old recently, and I saw many people posting on social media and everywhere and reading articles all over the place that. Still many people look to JFK, remember when he was here in Hazleton literally years ago. It's very bittersweet because at this point, the uh, mythology of Kennedy is now outliving the, the actual life of Kennedy. Uh, he died too young, age 46, when he was assassinated in 1963. So this year marks this, the centenary of his birth. He was born in, in Brookline, Massachusetts son of Joseph Kennedy, uh, who was a Hollywood mogul, uh, banker, the list goes on, but very influential in American politics. And his, his, the grandson of uh, Honey Fitzgerald, who was the mayor of, of Boston. So uh, this year, what, what we're seeing are many books, documentaries, what we would expect to celebrate the life of, of Kennedy especially the lead up to Kennedy. Many people forget uh, how hard it was to be elected the first Irish Catholic president. So it was really symbolic for a region, especially like Hazleton, which has such a large ethnic ca Catholic population, to see uh, Kennedy elected in 1960. And of course, he left a mark here, as we know, uh, when he visited here in 1960. People were posting photos from back then, you know, when this anniversary was up and that. So many people keeping that memorabilia handy there that they were quick to post it and talk about it and still proud of the fact that they were there during it. I don't think there's a baby boomer out there <laughs> born in, in the Hazelson region who doesn't have some recollection mm -hmm. of that day. So it was late October 1960, really the tail end of the campaign. And 12,000 people lined Hazelson's uh, downtown streets. And it's really a tribute to the important political role that Hazleton played at that time. The fact that Kennedy targeted a series of cities in Pennsylvania in the final days of the campaign, and Hazleton was one of them. And what's tragic is we fast forward three years to November 22, 1963. And I'll actually read, Bill McLaughlin was a reporter for the Standard Speaker at the time, and he wrote about that day. McLaughlin wrote that Hazeltonians did not seem to think that such a thing could happen here. A little girl, no more than nine years old, was heard relaying the tragic story to one a little younger than that. Another child who met her mother at the corner asked the mother if she had heard it. It was an unusually warm day. It was 52 degrees in Hazelton, but really uh, downtown froze. And I, I don't think Pete, anybody will forget, not only when he visited here, the excitement, just what, really that mythology of Kenny, what he exuded, it was just a sign of that time, and then uh, unfortunately that cataclysmic moment on, on the afternoon of November 22nd when really everything changed. And so we not only celebrate his life this year, but we remember what Kennedy represented because he, at this point it's not just about Kennedy the, the person, it's about Kennedy oh, and, and the era he represented. Well, if you would like to know more about the history of our area, please stop by the Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum on North Wyoming Street. Also, you want to check them out on Facebook. And of course, Charles will be here weekdays, Wednesdays, I should say, on, at SSB TV News to bring you his take on the history of our area. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. 
Look at this weather shot as the clouds move in here in the Hazleton area, and that's what we can expect tonight. Here's a local forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight will be partly cloudy. We'll have a low of 52 degrees. On Friday, 30% chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm possible after 11 a.m., partly sunny, high of 73. Friday night, we are in the mid-50s for our low, partly cloudy skies. Saturday, 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. It will be mostly sunny with a high in the mid-70s. At night, partly cloudy, low of 61. One Sunday, sunny, and we're in the 80s. Sunday night, mostly clear. It's nice in the mid-60s for a low. Monday looks nice again, sunny with a high near 84. And then Monday night, mostly clear, low of 66 degrees. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Valley High Food Drive-In, the area's oldest ice cream and fast food restaurant. We're open weekdays, 3.30 to 8 p.m. Stop by for our ice cream and yogurt. Now featuring fat-free, no sugar added soft frozen yogurt with flavors like vanilla, strawberry, and strawberries and cream. We also have burgers, hot dogs, fries, and much more. That's Valley High, Route 93 in West Hazleton. And like us on Facebook. Are you planning a class reunion? Well, check out Sand Springs now and book that date. I'm back here with Tracy Ackerman, and we are in the Magnolia Room, which one, which is recently renovated, right? Yes, it is. And it's very nice. This is one of the rooms. We're normally in celebrations, uh, but we wanted to give you another um, look at some of the other rooms and other options that they have here. So thanks for having us in. tonight. Today we want to talk about class reunions. Yes, so class reunions are very popular, mm -hmm. um, especially if you're celebrating your 25th anniversary or even your 50th. Um, so one thing that we like to do with those is coordinate your linen colors mm -hmm. along with your school colors. So that is one thing that a lot of people do like to do with that. And also you can have a more elegant look or you can have a more laid back look or even yeah. incorporate golfing into that. Sure. Um, we have a, um, many reunions who actually have uh, use our tent facility mm -hmm. because they just want something a little bit more laid back, mm -hmm. um, casual. And usually for the 50th class reunions, they, they do like our ballroom mm -hmm. to make it a little bit more elegant. Okay. And uh, from there, then you have other options. As you said, you have the linens. They can bring in um, uh, a band or a DJ. You have some options with uh, the bar. Yes, um, we can work with the bar um, however you would like. You know, we do have bar plans available. And we also have um, other, you could do drink tickets. Mm -hmm. That's always an option, and that's very popular also. When you think of class reunion, you think how much in advance should you be planning this? Because it, it does take a lot of preparation. It does. Usually I find anywhere from like a year to a year, a year and a half sometimes. Okay. Um, the, the classes start planning everything okay um, and the one thing is if you would prefer a Saturday date mm -hmm. you always want to try to get here as soon as possible to book that date um, because we do book very quickly and you want your room that you want you want your date that you want so class officers uh, you want to make sure you know when that 20th is coming up or the 25th or even the 50th so get a hold of Tracy here at Sand Springs and book your class reunion we'll see you next week Thanks, Janine. Here's your midday winning lottery numbers on the green screen. Your wild card number is four. Pick two, three, six. Pick three numbers on your screen right now. Two, zero, one. Pick four, eight, two, nine, zero. And your pick five numbers, three, eight, four, six, five. We're going to hometown after this break. We'll talk about state playoff baseball with the Marion Colts. Time now for sports on SSPTV News. You should see me the day after my Red Sox compete in a playoff game. I'm a mess. I barely function at work if they're playing in October. I don't know how actual athletes deal with the pressure of the postseason. Our intern Ali McCann went to hometown to see how the District 11 AA champion Marion Colts have galloped deep into the state playoffs. It's almost time for classes to start wrapping up here at Marion Catholic High School. But the Colts baseball team is hard at work as they continue to prove those who doubted them wrong. You could forgive people who doubted the Colts at the beginning of the season. And when we started the year, um, it was, it was kind of Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. And then as the season went on, we hit, we hit a stride about midway through the season, and that's when we knew we, there was a chance to be successful. While Marion lost nine key players from last year's District 11 single-A championship team, thanks to senior leadership, they weren't scared of Jekyll and Hyde or anything else that came their way in 2017. 
Players like Jared Paisley help take the pressure off of some of the younger players getting used to gripping the varsity ropes. Iceman, we call him. He's got ice water in his veins. Nothing phases him. Bases loaded, no outs, and you can walk out there and talk to him, and you know he'll say, I got this coach. And he comes out, and he'll get a double play ball and, and a strikeout if need be, fly out. Um, nothing phases him. He has a stoic expression, whether he's happy, sad, mad, glad, whatever. And, you know, that, that's the type of com competitor that you want, you want to have as a coach. Freshman Aaron Mason quickly moved up the varsity ladder as he credits a lot of his success to his senior teammates. Just their personalities, you know, coming to practice every day. You know, they're always kidding around and they make things light, you know. I'm just going to miss them. Mason started seeing more varsity playing time after an injury to senior Anthony Calavecchio. It was Mason's walk-off hit that gave Marion the 2017 District 11 AA Championship and a ticket to the state tournament. Just keep doing what he's doing. He's God's gift to Marion, like we said this year. Came in for me, came in, filled the spot, and he's put big, big all year, and he's going to keep being big throughout the next three years. Calavecchio graced Marion with a big hit in their first round state playoff game. His RBI gave the Colts a 2-0 lead and they would go on to defeat South Williamsport 2-1. Marion head coach Tony Radoka says this team is writing their own legacy. The 2017 Colts now have a chance to go a step further than last year's team. Not many outside of the Marion clubhouse would have thought that was possible at the beginning of the season. For SSP TV Sports, I'm Allie McCann. Thanks, Allie. If you're watching this at 5 p.m. on Thursday, the Marion Colts may be just about wrapping up their playoff game in the AA State playoffs with Bellwood Antis. Now, on my last check, it was tied at one. Steve Stallone from the Standard Speaker is following this game. Follow him on Twitter for updates. So I'm betting that Dave Seaman will have updates of the Lady Cougars game. Hazleton area will be playing in the softball 6A playoffs. This is a quarterfinal game against Council Rock North. They're set to begin at 6 p.m. at Parkland High School. Now to the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Caleb Smith struck out seven and only gave up two walks and one unearned run in the Rail Riders' win over Rochester. The Cubs, they lost to the Marlins, and that, my friends, is sports for this Thursday. The town. Happy 84th birthday to Bobby Kislin of Freeland from All Your Friends. Kindergarten registration in the Hazleton Area School District for the 2017-2018 school year will be held by appropriate school by appointment only on the days listed below. Appointments can be made by calling 570-459-3111, extension 3000. The second annual Kagan Fest will be held on Saturday, June 17th from 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. There will be a $5 cover for ages 13 and up. Ages 12 and under are free. There will be bands, kids' activities, tricky trays, food, beverages, and much more. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Anne Marie Willis, Coltmont. Contributions can be sent to Brian M. Picani. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name now on SSP TV News, you'll have 13 minutes to call in and win a free movie from Service Electric Cablevision. Tonight's winner is Kenneth Roth of Hazleton. Call now at 570-455-7267, extension 104, for your free movie. Tomorrow morning, early in the AM, I'm heading to the Pocono Raceway for a little preview of the NASCAR race there this weekend. Check out my story at 5 p.m. or at your leisure on the Samsung Productions app. That's it for tonight. Take it easy, everyone. Watch us online anytime at ssptv.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.